Hey guys, welcome back to I Dream of Wigs today. My name's Missy and I'm with TL Wigs. If you're brand new and this is your first time stopping in for one of my videos, I would like it if you would hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell if you want to be notified when I'm going to be bringing you some new reviews. Sometimes I do uh, one or two a week. Sometimes I only do uh, a couple a month. So however you subscribe as far as notifications, that is up to you. So today we're going to be taking a look at this brand new release from Ellen Villa. This is Delight and mine is in the color Ginger Blonde Rooted. So stick around and we will go all over the details on this. So Tracy from TL Wigs actually sent this to me so that I could do this review for you today and I want to thank her for that. I absolutely love this. Whenever I saw the stock photos, I knew that I had to have this one and try it. Even though I knew that it was heat friendly fibers and I don't typically do heat friendly, I just knew I had to have it. So I'm going to drop the link to our website tlwigs.com in the description box down below as well as the direct product link to Delight. All you have to do is click on either of those and it will take you on over to the website where you can start shopping. Everything on the website is always 30 to 40% off with the exception of Raquel Welch and Gabor. Those are only discounted on the weekends. At checkout, you're going to find that there are several different payment options, including shop pay, which allows you to buy it now and pay interest free installments over a period of time, however you choose. Also on the home page of the website, if you scroll down, you're going to see a list of all of TL Wigs reviewers. You can click on those and those will take you on over to the reviewers, including myself, webpage. On top of that, we would also love to invite you to our private Facebook group, which is TL Wigs Support, Inspiration, and Education. This is where um, you're going to interact with a lot of the other members um, and get a lot of friendly tips and advice, sharing their wigs, their experiences, you name it. And Tracy does a lot of giveaways in this private group, so that's where you want to be. So let's get started on this because I am super excited to just get my hands in here. I can't hardly stand it. All right, so let's take a look at the inside of this cap here. Here is your extended lace that runs clear to the ear tabs. You have a left side monofilament part. Your felt lined ear tabs with bendable stays. You have an extended nape with Velcro closures, and this is a very, very stretchy cap. Ellen Villa, I think I saw on their newsletter or something that this style delight will fit an average to large. So if you are one of those that are always saying, I love Ellen Villa, but you know, they're just too small for me, you're in luck because this one is going to fit you and you're going to have lots of room. So let's just take a look at the great dimension on this color too, before I start messing it up. This ginger blonde rooted. This is evenly blended. Uh, we've got some honey blonde in there. We've got some lighter blonde and then you've got this reddish auburn and it's all blended into this beautiful light rooting. So this is just a gorgeous warm color. And stick around to the outside because I will show this outside. 
Okay, so since we have gone over the inside of the cap and a little bit of the color, if you are one of those that is into um, the color codes, I will give you the codes on this. It is a 26, 19, and 31. It's just gorgeous. And wait until I get outside at the end. So, like I said, this is a heat-friendly synthetic. I do not do a whole lot of heat-friendly styles, and that's just my personal preference, but I'm not excluded entirely from heat-friendly styles. If there's one like this that I think I have to have, you betcha I'm going to try it, whether it's heat-friendly or regular synthetic. So, a little bit about heat-friendly wigs, since I usually do just do regular synthetics. Heat-friendly fibers allow... Um, they allow you to change up your style without the commitment of, of having to buy a human hair uh, wig with all of that maintenance and cost. So heat friendly, you can change the style up as you choose. Like this one you can see has some nice little barrel curls going on in it. If you wanted to straighten this out, you can do that. Now, another thing with Heat Friendly is those fibers are locked in. It's a style memory. So it remembers, even if you get this wet, let's say you just want to give it a soak in some water. When you get this wet and it dries, it's going to go right back to this style until you apply heat to it again. So let's go over the style and the specs on this. All right, I do not have the overhead lighting on today because um, I do have some larger studio lights and without my overhead light on, um, it's a lot easier to pick up on the color. So standing back here, you can just see this light blonde, the, the honey, the golden blonde that just kind of frames the face. It's very, very pretty, and it's such a dimensional color. Let me go ahead and do my spin all the way around. I really love the flow and feel of this one and the way it lays in the back. It's got just enough layers down there to kind of give it this little bit of a flippy kind of look, which I also adore. And let me just get up here and show you this lace front because it is amazing as well. Almost undetectable. I am one of those that I really, really do not like the line showing there. And a lot of times I have to touch that up with my face powder uh, just to get that to blend in on the other side of the lace. So as you can see, this is just kind of a cute little mid-length bob. It's got these waves all over and layers towards of the bottom. You can do so much with this as far as styling options too. I love this front layer that's kind of curly here or wavy. I should say it's not curls, it's, it's wavy. So the specs on this, the front piece here is 11 inches long. And that's right, because from my hairline to my chin, I am eight inches. The crown is eight and a half. The sides are nine and a half to 11. The nape underneath is six inches. Overall, from the crown to the tips, this is about 12 inches long and it is so lightweight, it is only 3.7 ounces. So I have not done anything to this out of the box. It came with this little bit of contour here on both sides. Um, all I have done is taken it out of the box and given it a little bit of a shake. I have not even ran uh, my wide tooth comb through it. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of water if you've watched me before, you know I always do it on my hands. I don't know why. It's just a, a preference. I don't like getting it wet all over. So just, you know, kind of get some water on there to mold some of these curls. 
the rooting on this is just phenomenal too. It's not so stark. When you hear ginger blonde, you may think that the rooting is going to be, you know, a really, really dark. No, they do this one really, really good. So another thing about the heat friendly uh, fibers is it gives you a more realistic look and feel. They're typically lower density, so that makes it appear more real than a regular synthetic. And if applying heat, you must always use a heat protectant or water. Um, I start mine out on the lowest setting and just kind of go up. I do not exceed 250. So I want to get this outside so that we can see her outside. But first I want to kind of get in here and just uh, see what we can do as far as fluffing her up and giving her some juge. So I may speed past some of my styling here. I don't want to put a whole lot of product on this because I'm loving the way this feels. It's just so silky and soft. This is good. I like it. Permatees, no. You're not going to find any permatees except down at the bottom in the back where the nape is along of the ear tabs. There's... It's very, very minimal. Top, there's nothing. And I, I think that this looks great just as it is. It does not need any kind of permatees. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go through some styling. And like I said, I may fast forward through that um, so that I'm not talking. And you can just see what I'm going to do to try and get this missified. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today. And again, like I said, if you could please hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. My next one is going to be a Henry Margu new style. So stick around for that. And you guys have a great day. Isn't this gorgeous? Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. That definition on that color is just amazing.